Yo yo yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Aquavius here. Uh, so today, uh, this is not a gameplay, uh, it's more like a tutorial kind of video. Uh, so here I'm gonna show you guys how to get like um, the Xbox creations for a dollar. And then for that, like it's only like one dollar for the first month. And after that, like you only pay nine dollars or like depends on which one you chose. Uh, but what's included here, it's like, it's over a hundred games and all. Uh, it also includes EA Play. And uh, if you don't know what EA Play is, uh, it's basically like EA gameplay subscription thing, like where it includes like a bunch of games. So here we can check out all the games. Uh, it has like pretty much all the EA games you can think of, like such as FIFA 20 and like like the Battlefield games, if you like that. So like, all you pretty much gotta do is like, you know, you put join, you join for a dollar. You make a Microsoft account, and then once you have all that, all you have to do is open the Xbox app. Then once you're here, uh, you're gonna see like if you go to the like home homepage, you can see like you can see all the games here. Now some people was having some issue, and this is what the video is mainly about. People were not able to install uh, EA Desktop, and then that's basically like it has a simple fix, uh, you know it's gonna ask you to link your accounts like that's pretty much the easiest part you know like linking the accounts is like the easiest part once you link the accounts you pretty much all you want to do is go to ea you gotta go to login and then once you go here uh basically you, you're gonna log in with your like whatever account you have connected to you're gonna put like if you have xbox you sign up with xbox you're gonna log in with Xbox, you log in, and it should connect automatically. Some people were having some issue where you were like asked to pay again, even though you already had the Xbox pass. So there's a simple fix for that. And then on the computer, like you just have to like turn on user control. And then you go to, so you just type UAC on the desktop, on the search box, and you said right there, you can see it says change user control settings. Uh, once you change that, it's gonna ask you it's not gonna ask you this if you have it off so you just click yes normally if you have it off and it, it wasn't working for you like EA desktop was not working or it would tell you that you cannot install it basically all you need to do is you come to here again just to show you again you type UAC which stands for user control account control you click yes if it asks you that Basically, what you want to do is, if it's all the way down here, if it's here, you want to move this bar up, and then, it doesn't matter where you move it, I think it just has to be on. So, I, I, I set it here, and then after that, I was, all I had to do was restart my computer, and then open the Xbox app, and then from there, uh, everything was working. So, as you can see, if I open desktop, EA desktop, over here it says that I have EA Play. Uh, my username is still, for some reason, my I changed my username just a little bit ago, but it hasn't updated on the computer. So we'll see what that would, we'll see what's up with that later. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not a quick tutorial. It's just like I know some people were having issues, with it, and it's just a simple fix. So as you can see now, uh, my game is up and working. I have FIFA. Uh, I'm planning to install some other ones. So yeah, it's just like a little quick fix for this, like it's no big deal.